Okay. So what is up guys, everybody? Uh, there's a pity me here. We are back with our new adventure. I'm gonna be playing Soma for the next how uh, many days? Or hours? I'm terrified, but it's okay. We're gonna have fun, and hopefully you will join me in the adventure. So let's do this. Thank you for coming to watch the video. If you enjoyed it, uh, consider liking this video and consider subscribing to become part of the system. And by the way, I'm using my friend's computer because I'm at my friend's place at the moment. So not sure how the rec I'm not sure how the recording will be different. But anyways, we're just going to have fun. So it's loading at the moment. But it's okay. Oh, okay. Press X to continue. Home cinema. Oh yeah, home cinema for now. Should I put it high? <laughs> Make it so bright. No, I'll just keep it low. Adjust camera so you can barely make out the details on the robot on the left. Oh, robot. I don't see the robot. Where is it? So... Alright. So, it's a new game. Don't know the language. Hint. Yes. Yes. Simple interaction icons. Yes. Everything. I need everything. Control. No, I think you're... Subtitle, yes please. Close caption. Oh no, thanks. Alright, let's do this. Let's get this adventure started. Reality is that which, when you stop believing it, it doesn't go away. Are you okay, Simon? I think you're bleeding. Oh, that, that's, that's nothing. nothing. It's just my brain can't stop bleeding from the accident. Here, take this. No, that, that's for later, for the scan. It's green. Ashley, I need to tell you something. Simon, please don't make this weird. No, no, it's not like that. Hey now. Who's David Lynch? Is there never enough time? For what? Optus can be attractive with using R. Oh. oh, let me change my controller to have invert. There we go. Yeah, I'm up. Hi, Simon Jarrett? Yeah, that's me. My name is David Munchie. We spoke earlier. The brain scan. I remember. Are you alright? Yeah, 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 just a bad dream. Are we still on for today? Yeah, that's why I'm calling. I wanted to remind you to drink the tracer fluid I sent you. It'll help me capture a better image of the damages. Don't, don't worry, I, I got it somewhere. Okay, great. Well, I'll see you in a couple of hours then. Okay, see you soon. To move around, use the left 
stick. I'm moving. Oh. Where did I put the tracer fluid? Nothing but fast food. I should buy something healthier on my way home. Ooh, a pizza. Oh. Oh. Throw objects. Yeah, throwing a pizza in my room. Here, sit on top nicely on the bed. Come on, radioactive tracer fluid, where are you? These ones? Well, soon. Oh. Wait, so where? Oh, I can check my inbox. Uh, okay. Uh, thank you again for participating in our research. The scan will be performed at the Space Laboratories in Toronto, but since we are guests, our SS is a bit unpredictable, I will try to schedule a scan session for Saturday. I'll get back to you when confirmed. Sincerely, David Munshi. Dear Mr. J Jared, I am happy to see you hear your headaches have become less frequent. Your latest test show your brain is slowly recovering, but it is still too early to tell how well it will adjust to the damage. The bleeding will continue over the coming months, at least, and you will need to come to the hospital a few times to drain the cavity to prevent the blood from building up pressure. Since excessive stress could be fatal, I have written you a prescription for Prazonsin uh, to help you with the, your nightmares. Please read the instructions and medicate accordingly. Try to get lots, a lot of rest, and I'll see you next week. Okay. Hi, Jesse. Since you <laughs> I forgot to hit send, does it matter? I already told him about it. Ooh. Hi, Jesse. Since you probably forgot, here's me reminding you that I've got that doctor's appointment tomorrow. I I thought you thought I'm not coming to to work. That means you need to make sure you. You're actually on time to open up the store and please unpack the boxes behind the counter. They're starting to become a workplace hazard. Also, books tend to tell, sell much better if they are put on the shelves where people are able to actually see them. Send them. Why not? Wait. Done. Better late than never. All right. Summer's coming. Hope it's a good one. Jeez, I don't like the I wait, where's the fluid? Well, what's my objective right now? I need to get to the fluid, right? I don't want to keep the doctor waiting. I'll shower when I get back. Wait, let's... I really should drink the tracer fluid before I go see Dr. Oh, where's the fluid? My keys. Where's the tray of fluid? This one? Man, I gotta wash your dishes, man. This one? This one? Where's the tray of fluid? Oh, there it is. Sorry, creating mess now. Oh, uh, push. Okay. Where is it? Jesse, you're working, you're working this morning or what? I knew there was something. 
thing you were doing, was it this weekend or next? Anywho, just email, email or something. Love you, miss you, mean it. End of messages. I swear, that guy has the memory of a goldfish. Well, I got the email off. He must have caught up by now. Where is it? Where's my where's my fluid? Gotta find my fluid. I can't find my fluid. Oh jeez, I'm already stuck in the first first part. How am I gonna survive this game? Wait. Does it, does it tell me hints? Oops, nope. Downtown kills woman. Okay. Oh, nobody know. Where's my fluid? Toronto, distracted, yada yada yada. That was my accident. Where's my fluid? Oh my goodness. I'm already stuck in the first few minutes. This is ridiculous. Did he say there's. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Can I find my fluid? Right, watching TV gives me headaches now. Thank you, brain. Okay. Wait, what, what? I'm confused. Where's my fluid? Where's my fluid? Jeez, I'm already lost in the first few minutes. And this is a small apartment. There it is. Oh, tss. oh my goodness. It feels like milk, but the taste is like sucking on a penny. Alright, you've done your work. Okay, I'm in a sky train or a subway. Hey, how's it going, dude? Nothing much. Who's Jesse? Fine. Jesse. Hey, Simon. I got your email. Just wanted to wish you good luck and let you know I got you coming. Thanks. I should be able to come to the store after this scan. Don't sweat it. I got Matt and Chris help me out. Matty from SNL? Uh, guess you didn't hear. He's coming in full time. Work in the comic section. That's Ashley's job. Yeah. Well, you know. Forget it. Not doing her any favors by leaving an empty spot. It's not like she's coming back. Well, good luck. Hope they find a way to reverse the whole... You know, dying thing. <laughs> dying thing? You're the worst support ever. <laughs> what should I say? I'll see you later, Jesse. Don't burn the place down while I'm gone. Over now, buddy. Well, as I send a sky train, I usually look down. That's why they have me. 
five days. Hello? Where am I? Dr. Munchie? Dr. Munchie. Where is everyone? I thought this place would be busy. Seems like they're in uh, reconstruction, man. What's going on here? Oh, I don't want to go into personal stuff, but fine, why not? David Munchi, scan now. Paul, where are you? We've got a few hours. I got hold of Simon Jarrett. Let's do this. I saw your laptop in the reception. Are you ready to hear? Call me ASAP. Hi, Paul. Uh, talked to Pace about using the lab this week. I managed to book the scanner for tomorrow morning and again on Friday. It's not a lot, but they said we could use the empty reception area as a kind of auspice. It will allow us to use their computers to run models, and also if a time slot opens, we can get in there and use the scanners right away. Rig, scanner rig right away. I thought we could run some tests tomorrow. We could do a, a scan of each other to learn the equipment. It's supposed to be pretty easy. On Friday, I'm hoping Dr. Aaron Peake will send somebody over. Uh, she has a patient. Who was, that was recently in a car crash. Should be interesting. Fair enough. I found some extra time in the lab today. Unfortunately, nobody told us about the code change, so I called security, talked to Professor Wei to have him vouch for, for our project, and finally got a hold of some honcho over a PACE legal department that could grant us permission to use the lab. I'm not allowed to repeat the code in mails or text, but I'll leave a note or something in case we forget. Okay. This is the place, right? It must be. David Munchie, yes. Let's just call Munchie real quick. Great. Got his phone turned off. That's okay. I can figure this out. Oh, time to find our hint. So we're in an email. She tells us the password for the door. Uh, personal diary. Okay, what do we have here? Moment death, something, something. Can I flip the page? Can I flip the page? Improve reverse projector technique. Um, no idea what this whole entire thing is about. Put your scalp away, the brain can heal itself, the brain, they talk about brain stuff. Well, maybe, well actually no, maybe it's important for later on the game. I should, I should inform myself these things. The brain has an amazing transformative quality, a plas plasticity that allows it to recompensate and even heal itself, it explains Paul Burke, a graduate student in neuroscience in York University in Toronto. It is this quality that Burke and his colleague David Munshi, a student of computer science, are hoping to encourage. It is about us getting the, the brain to do the right thing, and we hope to accomplish this with simple things like exercise, therapy, and like medication. But Munshi and Burke are not looking for a miraculous uh, panacea. It's about finding the optimal treatment for each patient. They start out recording something like called a Nakajima neurograph. It's like a picture that indicates direction, says Munshi. Instead of a static brain scan, the neurograph can tell us where your brain is going. Okay, very informative, I guess. Oh, USB. This uh, desk right here. Okay, what's the password? Password around here? What's going on here? Why is this 
place locked up. It's getting funky, man. Oh. place I want to be in. Oh. Well, that didn't work. Ah, uh, look outside. So beautiful. Useless. Pretty much breaking this place apart, eh? Alright, okay, maybe this USB will help. No, uh, no. We grab the USB. Passwords. Garbage here. Nope. Okay, it has nothing to do with this thing. Page 56. Uh, what is that? Number 250. Uh, can't even read these writings. Improve reverse projector technique. See, we test out the code then. I guess that won't work. But this is the only place that has numbers. Let's just talk. Uh, there are four numbers. Which one? Two five zero one. Okay. Oh. Why am I? Why do I need to run now? I'm going to close this door. Just in case anything happens. And put this door <laughs> here. here. Just in case anything happens. Uh, actually, I can't really see anything right now. Turn on the lights. Okay. I'm rushing a little bit too much. Well, actually, I don't even know where I'm going. This is doctor's office, so. Oh, there he is. Oh, hi. Didn't hear you come in. Simon Jarrett, right? Dr. Munchie? Well, it's uh, just Mr. Munchie, but I'm working on it. 
Actually, you're helping me right now. Is this part of your thesis work? Yeah. It's a study I'm doing with my colleague, Paul Berg. We hope to design a gentle way to work with brain reconstruction to help people like you. Oh, did you uh, take the tracer fluid? Yes. Yes, I did. Great. Well, we can start whenever you're ready. So, what exactly are we doing? We're going to do a scan of your brain. Then we build a computer model of it and bombard it with stimuli. The program will help us to quickly iterate your treatment plan until it's fully optimized. In short, develop the perfect treatment for your condition. So it's not just a study. This will actually help me. Well, I should hope so. Otherwise, this would be a huge waste of time. <laughs> You know I have a serious condition, right? You heard about the car crash, the X months to live deal? Yes, I heard. Must be hard having to hear that. As you know, it's because your brain is weakened so much that it can start to bleed every so often. And if it ever gets real bad, it will kill me. Well, we probably can't restore your brain completely, but we should be able to make those X months turn into years, decades even. And if you take care of yourself and don't do anything too crazy, we should be able to get you to outlive the best of us. Really? I really hope you're right about this. Me too. This could make a huge difference for how we treat people with brain damage. So, what do you say? Should we get going? Sure. Let's get started. Take a seat. No, let me keep talking to you. No, oh, no. I don't want to. I'm running away. Don't wander around. There's needles and stuff lying around. Said, Those will scare me. Okay, fine. All right. Let me just get this out of the way. You are Simon Jarrett, correct? Toronto, Canada, David Munchie. Born 1988, July 16th. Flat neurograph, version six. Good. All files in order. It's just a scan. It'll hurt about as much as getting your picture taken. Is that so? Well, let's hope they're wrong. <laughs> Ready? Say cheese. Simon Jarrett. That's my character's name. What happened? Yeah, what happened? Hello? Mr. Munchie? Did something go wrong? This isn't funny. Jeez. I, I'm not supposed to put myself in... So dark. This is kind of stressing me out. I would agree. Hey! Anyone? Oh, wow. What the hell is this place? How did I get here? Figure this out. I just need to stay calm. No need to make things worse. What's going on here? Why am I here? Mr. Munchie? Mr. Munchie? Where are you? Chair. Mr. Munchie? Munchie. Oh 
Oh jeez. What just break? Adventure. Hello? Anybody here? Nobody here. now all right gotta do it the proper way okay I'm saving it the washroom very nice very nice It is so dark here, man. Oh, what is that? Do a little bit of setting up again. Increase the gamma just a little bit. here oh. hey you can you talk can you talk like the others why are you like this you want some structure gel yeah you do so weird doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna shut you down now, okay? Yeah, you're creepy as hell, so I'm gonna shut you down. Just the first few minutes. It shouldn't be too bad. Did the door just open? I closed the door though. I just 
close the door. Ah, no worry. Wait. Wait. One of the robots just got released. Huh? I know, it didn't open. It got it got cranked open. Oh yeah. Press and hold to move. Okay. Lean. Lean. Oh, I should follow where the blood is. Or don't. I wouldn't call them blood. Maybe oil. Oh, everybody. Hi. my time you know chill about it I'm just gonna crouch the whole entire game and just remain in the dark Is that you, robot? Is that you who go that out? Yeah, I guess not. <laughs> Moving while crouching. Press the least less noise and reduces the chance of being noticed. I'm hiding here. No matter what the cost is. Good idea. Game. Crouching is the way. It's so dark. It's so dark. So dark. I'm staying back. going through the door well anyways I'm gonna pause the video here okay anyways guys continue we're gonna continue the next adventure no I'm not quitting the game yet but so far it's been interesting but anyways hope you guys would like press the like button and consider becoming part of the buddy system by subscribing anyways we'll see you next time okay in the next adventure peace out